Hi everybody, this is the animal dude David Stokes coming to you today for another animal encounter. Everybody say good day, friends. Please make two hooks like this. I like to use sign, it tells me if you're paying attention. Now make a D, make your hand look like mine. Everybody say day. Try it again, good day, friends. My name is David, everybody say hi David. And sometimes they call me snake man. Everybody make a snake, yeah. The side for snake. My snake hat, I love my snake hat. It's not a very good sun hat though. It's got a hole in the top. We're gonna to talk about snakes today. One of my favorite snakes here to get a chance. It, I have a snake in a bag. And why do we put snakes in a bag? Some people say so they don't bite. Everybody smile. Why aren't we in a bag? Yeah, a friend of mine told me he didn't have a bag big enough. <laughs> then I had to tell him my uncle was a mortician. Never mind. The snake's in a bag to control the snake so it doesn't get out. I'm going to bring out the snake. I'm going to ask you not to scream. You know why? Because it bothers me. Snakes do not have ears. For all practical purposes, snakes cannot hear you. So when I bring out the snake, please don't scream. This is my friend call it a pumpkin snake. You know why they call it a pumpkin snake? Everybody say orange. Because it's orange. Everybody say anaranjado. Orange in Spanish. I call it a pumpkin snake. When I bring it out, please do not scream. Everybody say, hello, pumpkin snake. Yeah, this is my friend, the red, the red rat snake. Everybody make an R, make your hand look like mine. Everybody say red rat snake. It's in the rat snake family. In Wisconsin, we have rat snakes, like the gray rat snake and the fox snake. But this one does not live in Wisconsin. This kind of snake came from east of the Mississippi, south of, of uh, Ohio, all the way down to Florida. And in a pet store, they call it a corn snake. I don't like the name corn snake. It doesn't make any sense to me because they don't eat corn. And I like pumpkin snake, and I like to call it by its family name. This snake, everybody say, why doesn't it bite? I don't really know for sure, except that it's not, it's not hungry, and it doesn't smell food, and it's used to being touched. Now, if you find a snake outside, I would suggest don't pick it up. Look at it and observe from a distance because all snakes can bite, even though this one didn't bite. It's been held by many, many people. And if you invite me to your school or your library or your birthday party sometime in the future, you too can hold this snake. This snake is a reptile. Everybody say reptile. Reptiles have, they say, dry, scaly skin. If a snake's in the water, though, of course, it's not dry. This snake is very smooth. She's going to shed her skin pretty soon, and she's got a red tongue. Now, you might ask, why is a snake sticking out its tongue? Let's try it. Snakes stick out their tongue to smell. Let's try it. Plug your nose. Stick out your tongue. I'll smell that thing. <laughs> you smell something? Oh, mommy, those chocolate chip cookies smell good. Mm -hmm. Everybody say snakes are different than people. There's no animal like us. There's no place like home. Thanks for coming today. Thanks for watching Animal Lovers. Animal Lovers. I'll see you soon for another animal encounter. Bye-bye.